I've had probably like the most stressful week ever. I don't think I've had a week as stressful as this past one, which sucks because I actually, even though I was so stressed out, I tried to really be happy. You know that meme of a dog when surrounded by fire? That's literally how I felt all week. Hey guys. So I have not filmed and I want to say like two or three days, which is a long time considering all last month I was filming like every single day, if not every other day. And I was consistently editing and uploading on that same schedule. And I feel like it was really good for my channel to keep that schedule going. So I'm trying to do that now, but I don't want to overload you with too much makeup, even though you're on my channel. Like we're surrounded by fucking makeup, obviously. So I wanted to give it a quick little break, just something very easy, very simple, nothing that involves makeup being put on. However, if I'm being 100% honest, I literally just about maybe like 15 minutes ago considered putting on makeup just for this video and then I realized all the work I'm gonna have to put into doing my makeup for an hour long filming session and then I was like, you know what, fuck it. So I figured since my week has kind of been stressful, why not add to that stress by reading your guys' mean comments? Because, I mean, I need some uplifting things. I've actually had a very stressful week, which explains why my face is breaking out and I had this fucking planet here. Like, I'm pretty sure NASA has been calling me like every five minutes trying to get the name of the new planet because it's so fucking big. But I also thought about it and I was like, this would be a really, really good opportunity to talk to those of you who are messaging me, asking me for advice about how to start a YouTube channel and things like that because I've gotten a lot of those questions. And I feel like this is gonna be a really good exercise for all of us, just a learning experience for everybody. And you know what? Just to make things a little bit less stressful, let's just do a mask. Let's do a mask. So the mask I'm gonna be doing is the rose face mask from Fresh Beauty. It's infused with real rose petals, hydrates, and tones the skin. I love this mask. It legitimately smells exactly like roses. It looks like baby poop, but you know what? It's okay. It smells amazing and does really good things for your skin. So you guys can do a mask with me if you want. This is the one I'm gonna be doing to my face today because I feel like I need it. But let's go ahead and jump into this. Am I ready? Probably not, but if you know what, it's okay. get into the hate comments, I want to first just preface this by teaching you guys a little bit of a lesson, giving you guys some advice and some tips. A lot of you have messaged me and asked me what the hardest part of being a YouTuber is, and I want to just say right now, in all honesty, this is it. Getting all these negative comments and very mean, nasty, hateful comments from complete strangers is difficult, especially for people like me who are hotheads. I am habitually a very, very hot-headed person. I love confrontation. I live for confrontation. I don't know why I get a high off of it and I'm trying to get myself away from that kind of lifestyle because I've always been that way and honestly it's ew it's never gotten me anywhere positive in life and so I'm trying to like reel myself back into reality and trust me I've seen some of these comments and I'm gonna read some of them to you tonight and I all I want to do is go from zero to a hundred real fucking quick on these people because that's all I'm used to doing. I am somebody who is so used to tearing people to shreds verbally. Please do not be like me and just go straight for the jugular when it comes to things like this. It's not worth your time. But like I said, I know that going that this fucking fly is about to get wrecked but i'm trying like i said to get myself out of that mindset because it's never gotten me anywhere positive positive. and to be honest a lot of these comments especially the ones talk about how fat i am how ugly i am there's gonna be a couple of those in this video the people who go straight for a, you're fat you're ugly you're this you're that they have no real argument about what you're talking about in your video they just go straight for what you look like because they think it's gonna hurt you more which in most cases it does for me it doesn't phase me because i don't give a fuck I'm talking to those of you who maybe take those kind of things to heart. I want you guys to realize that what these people are saying, first of all, is completely false. And a lot of what they're saying to you is probably being said to them at home, in the classroom, in the workplace. Like, like we have no idea who these people are, where they live, where they go to school, what they deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. And what I've learned from experience is that a lot of these people who go straight for remarks like that, they're the ones who really have problems because they probably, like I said, are dealing with things like that at home. They're probably being told by their brother, oh, you're fat, or their classmate, oh, you're fat and ugly, or whatever. Like, some stupid bullshit lie. I want you to take those comments so, so lightly. Don't ever take those as being serious comments, because a lot of the time, they're projecting their anger about what they're going through in their lives 
onto you because seemingly here on YouTube, we show you guys what we want to show you guys. So you guys see us how we want you to see us. So we look like we have a peachy keen life and things are going good, like nothing bad's happening to us. And maybe these people get really upset about it because they wish they had this kind of lifestyle or your kind of lifestyle. And because of that, they lash out at you and try to make your life miserable because they're miserable. You know what I mean? So take these comments lightly with a grain of salt, like less than salt and just forget about it. So to those of you who are worried about starting a channel because of the negative comments, please just ignore those people and do what you wanna do. If this is what's gonna make you happy, then definitely dive into it full force and just enjoy it because it's a lot of fun. And don't let negative people and their negative thoughts about you, like their irrelevant thoughts about you, get in the way of being happy and doing what makes you happy. That's all I wanted to say. So now on to the negativity. So most of my negative comments are on my Amy Slayton videos, so that's where we're gonna start. Here's the first one. You need to shut up. She's better than you. It's not even funny anymore. I don't think that I have a great way of the saying you're good at anything BTW. What? Using Amy to get views dot dot lol dot dot dot. You will never have her popularity. And you know what? Let me just say this too. I don't want her popularity because a lot of her popularity comes from people who are very just mean to her. People who admittedly only watch her videos because they think she's a train wreck. While I may never have her popularity, I'm actually very happy about it because I don't ever want to be known as a train wreck. So yeah, that's okay. I just saw this one. This was from a week ago. I haven't checked these comments in a very long time, so I'm seeing a lot of new comments. And this one made me crack up laughing. She got coins, dollars, checks, pennies, and nickels. You name it! Beans, creams, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rice, rice, rice. Fuck you, bitch. She's nice. Drink bleach. Kill yourself, please. I talked specifically about this comment in a tutorial not too long ago. And some people did not like my viewpoints on it. As a matter of fact, they got very butthurt when I called them evil people. I could never go up to somebody and tell them to kill themselves. Like, I would not feel good about it mentally. Not to mention, if you do it and the person goes through with it, you would land yourself in a lot of fucking trouble. So I mean, you an evil ass person so just that's the way I see things you're more than welcome to disagree if you want to that's okay but that just to me you're like that's fucking evil just leave Amy alone Amy is way prettier than you and you know what if that's how you see things and that's how you see things I'm not gonna sit here and argue that point beauty is in the eye of the beholder I hate you bitches all they do is complaint and cry but listen you're sitting on my channel commenting on my video about me complaining and crying when you're sitting in my comment section doing the same damn fucking thing so you make no sense your argument isn't valid and then the same person and went again and said, shut up, bitch man, your wrong form of your, by the way, stupid, because they spelled stupid wrong. They spelled it S-T-U-I-P-I-D. Uh, and then this person also said, your dog is ugly. Chloe doesn't deserve that. Like, Chloe didn't say anything wrong. Like, get the fuck off my dog. You're just jelly. Girl, bye. This girl was so concerned about what I was doing on my channel that she obsessively commented on every single one of my videos. First of all, I don't care of I made sense or not. It's stupid how you're making wrong your videos over some dumbass girl who gives a fuck you fucking dumbass. It's your fault for giving money to someone who lies about their wrong their story or if they're telling the truth, who cares, lol. Just reading that made my brain hurt. Just be quiet, oh my god, get a life, do something positive, like fix yourself, wow. But why fix what's not broken? Shut the fuck up, you stupid fat hoe. I mean, I'm not a hoe. I've got one man, one husband, one dick, I'm good. I can literally feel your self-hatred. I think that's your own you're feeling. Yikes. And the same girl again, seems like you care so much about other women's, like you're just as ugly and fat as her, get that real shit done to your face, both you bitch double chin bitches, lol, fuck out of here, lol. This, this girl honestly is really annoying to me because she keeps commenting, which I'm not mad. I keep getting views from this girl, so keep going girl, I don't give a shit, I ain't mad at you. But she keeps commenting such negative shit for like what reason? Like clearly this is a good example of someone who is clearly disturbed and needs help. Pity her. Pray for this girl. Alyssa Ochoa. Girl, I'm praying for you tonight, boo. You need help. Foul mouth, but they spelled it F-O-W-L. I don't have a bird mouth. 
And this same girl who keeps commenting on my videos, again, clearly she gives a fuck enough about me to keep commenting. Someone tell grown was woman to be mature about their, wrong form of their, lives, then caring about another woman's life, you just look as busted as her. Girlfriend, pull a Billy Madison and go back to fucking kindergarten and learn the right form of their, there and there, here, here, and here, and then also learn how to use then and then, because girl, you fucked up everywhere. I could go on and on with all the comments I get on my videos that are hateful comments, but you know what, I wanna go ahead and just cut it off right there, because I might do a part two if you guys wanna see it. If you don't wanna see it, I get it, but if you do wanna see it, let me know down below. But I guess the one thing I want you to take away from this video is this. I am someone who completely 100% respects the fact that everyone's entitled to their own opinion, as a matter of fact, I always, always emphasize in all my videos, especially videos that talk about like certain topics, especially like gossipy topics, I always tell you guys to sound off in the comment section no matter what your opinion is on the subject matter. However, I draw the line on opinions when people start to have opinions about me because number one, you aren't family, you are not a friend of mine, you don't pay my bills, you don't fuck me, you don't buy me clothes, you don't buy me makeup, you don't pay for any of the shit that I have, so therefore you don't know me well enough to have an opinion about me. And the argument that people seem to have against that is okay, well you're on YouTube, you open yourself up to this kind of hate, like you should just deal with it. No, I don't have to deal with it if I don't want to, and if I want to delete your comment, if it's that hateful, I fucking will. And it's not because I don't respect your opinion, it's because I don't respect your opinion about me. Because like I said, you don't do any for me so what gives you the right to have an opinion about me keep in mind that a lot of these comments were all posted on the Amy Slayton videos and a lot of these people seem to think that I should have just shut the fuck up and not said anything because it wasn't my business even though I was directly affected by what she had done and to those people, I say this. If you're the kind of person who can sit around and watch bad things happen and not say shit about it, that's on you, and that's just how you were raised. I can't be mad at you about it, it's on your parents. But I was not raised that way, so I reacted the way I think anybody with a right mind would have reacted. And you know what? I see all of these people as being the people who hate being called out on their own shit. Like, they're the same ones who get defensive as fuck when people confront them. I don't take those people seriously and I could never respect them because if I had done something wrong, I would completely expect someone to call me out on my shit. Because to me, that's what a real ass person does, you know what I mean? To me, all these people telling me to just be quiet or stay quiet about it, they're all people I just consider to be weak as fuck. And to me, their parents failed them because they raised them to be people who couldn't handle the truth. If you are someone who is kind of on the fence about making a channel because of things like this, please just ignore these people and just do what makes you happy and don't let negativity like this get in the way. Just laugh about it because these people all claim to not give a shit about you or what you have to say, but they're the same ones who take time out of their day to comment this shit on your videos because they're the ones watching. So, with that being said, guys, I'm gonna get on out of here and wash this mask off because it's been way over 10 minutes. But I love you guys so much. Leave all your questions, comments, requests down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so much. Bye.